welcome back. Today I can make the new tutorial where you can create your own image in PHP. And for that, first of all, you need to um, add an extension here. Go to PHP and go to PHP extensions. And first of all, initialize this PHP underscore GD2 library. And GD library is so for creating images. And for that, uh, first initialize that PHP GD2. And once you are done with it, don't forget to restart all your services. Just to affect all extensions and wait until it will show green mark uh, and this is the way how you done in vamp server i don't know about xamp on any lamp on map i'm just using vamp here and if you're using any other service i'll go and check how to initialize data library in lamp or xamp or whatever the heck you are using and once you're done with uh, done it check it again whether it is initialized or not yes that's fine it's marked correctly now i'm straight away going to record Mm, first of all, PHP, the reporting stuff, and save that. I'm going to save in my demo folder which I created for you. I'm going to call it as image.pn. Sorry, PHP. And now I'm going to use a simple function called image create, which is inverted. You don't need to install any libraries, you don't need to download any libraries. It is inverted in PHP. Uh, and that's pretty simple image create create yes image create and as a parameter i'm going to pass two values the first value is going to be width of the image and second is second, second is height right now i'm specifying 200 comma 200 which means 200 by 200 square image and it's pretty cool right and once you created the image um try to add a background color to it in order to add background color again there's a simple function called image color allocate and image color allocate don't uh, don't forget to spell that uh, spellings image color allocate e l o c a t e and it's going to accept four parameters the first parameter is going to be image which i created just now and second parameter the, the last three parameters are nothing but rgb values and i'm just only specifying any three values let's say 40 20 it's a just random numbers i don't know which color it is and once i'm done with background and the final thing is going to be very simple just save the file you have created in order to do that again a simple function image png and this function will save the image in png format and if you want to save any jpg i, I think there's a function called image jpg i don't know whether it is there or not um i'm right now i'm doing it in png so image png and for parameter two parameters image which you want to save and second thing is name which you want to specify and in my case i'm just specifying demo image demo image dot png and i think that's it uh, first of all i'm going to show you my directory in my demo directory there are no images or just a php file and i'm going to run my browser so i'm going to my browser and run my file localhost slash oops i think it's demo demo slash image.png sorry php oh sorry i forgot that yeah that's it the code exit successfully and there are no errors and go check it yep there's a image demo image so this is the color i don't know which color it is but somehow we got the image and if you want to this one has been i don't know what it is okay and that's my previous video don't forget about that and if you, if you want to work out to remove a post just try to add some code here i mean whether the gd library is uh, activated or not gd library not activated or whatever the heck you want to do it gd library not activated um these things are not all necessary but you want you can just specify that and we want to image to be uh, displayed in the browser itself uh, you can just specify image tag image source is equals to your image path and in my case it's demo image dot png Oops, png and go check your browser idiots yep that's fine that's fucking fine and 
Let me go change your back what the hell it is. Close that shit. Okay, this is our file which we are working with, I guess. And you want to change the color, just specify your random RGB values. And I'm specifying 180 and just specifying 2 and 20. I don't know which color it is, just a random color. Yep, it's a brown color or green color, whatever the heck you can find. And I think that's it. Um, this is a very simple, simple tutorial regarding image creation. And in our next tutorials, we are going to show you how to create and sorry, how to crop images, how to rotate images, and how to add texture and image, and how to add uh, multiple images in a single image. I'm going to do a little bit stuff in next tutorials. And thanks for watching. If you like our video, please subscribe us. And thanks again.